What's up with it? So my name is Chanel Dior and um, I'm 21 years old. I just opened up my own bar on Broadway. And I'm also an artist. I also rap. So, you know, whatever, just whatever questions you want to ask me, I guess. You said you opened your own bar on Broadway. Let people know where we at. You say Broadway. I'm Broadway, from St. Louis. 3722 Broadway is right next to Hamburger Mary's. And I just opened up my own bar. It's the Wig Bar. I serve alcohol, but my auntie, she serves hair. And we both collaborated. And we ended up creating our own business on Broadway. So it's really exciting. You definitely, you guys definitely should come. It's 100% virgin lace wigs. And we got hair from 10 inches to 30 inches. So maybe even 40. So you say she served, you served Lick and she yeah. served her. Mm -hmm. Like how did the idea come about? Well, because there's no there's no place here that, that is a bar where you can come in and it's very upscale, it's very nice. And you come in and you can get your hair done, you can get you can buy hair and get it installed. And while that's happening, you can also order a cocktail and everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah. You say you, you say you're an artist. Let's yeah. talk about like the Kansas City music scene. So Kansas City has, it does have a lot of artists, upcoming artists, and it has a lot of artists coming up and trying to get there. We don't really have a big platform to where it can make people famous or blow them up. They just have to do that on their own. But I think the music scene is pretty dope. Like it's a lot of artists here that has a lot of dope ass music. Like for one, we got Kai Colors, we got fucking D Walk, we got Amira Wayne, we got fucking a lot of artists that come from here and even uh Janelle Monet, she she came from here and she's also really? an artist that's blown up. Yeah. Yeah, she came from here. She's she I thought she was here. from London. She's from Kansas City. So she also came here, so I think that's pretty dope as well. So it's a lot of artists here that's upcoming. My myself is upcoming. You're going for your music, like I said, you're an entrepreneur. I am an entrepreneur. I am a black woman, and I am starting my own business, and so is my auntie. So it's just kind of dope that we're in like the business. And you're young create. too. Yeah, I'm 21 years old. So I'm excited. I'm proud of myself. I'm also in college. And I'm actually going to college to get my PhD degree to be a dermatologist for skincare. So I think that's dope too, just to throw that on top of there. But I work hard and I've been through a lot of shit. Like last year, May 18th, I got shot and I got betrayed by somebody I call my best friend. And I literally was in five months hospitalized and I literally died, but they brought me back to life. Mm. And it just gave me. You was in a hospital? Hold on, hold on. Five months. Five months. Yeah. Was you conscious doing this time? Yeah, I was very conscious. I was in pain all, all those five months, and I couldn't do nothing but sit there and let them do their job. Like, my whole arm was, they had to put my arm back in my body. So, it's just like, thinking about that shit, knowing that coming from a city that's really fucked up, but learning very valuable lessons, and growing from that, and taking my pain and turning it into champagne is what makes me the best thing ever. Like, how was that mentally for you? Mentally, it was hard because mentally, it fucked with me. It made me not want to do music. It made me not want to go outside. It made me not want to be around nobody. It made me not trust nobody. It made me feel like nobody loved me. But I had support. I had my mother. I had my grand, my grandmother, my grandfather. And I had people behind me to take care of me and lead me to the way to help me, to show me that even though a fucked up situation happened to me, something so evil and so fucked up happened to me, I can still love and I can still become who I want to become and I can still move this, through this life and take what I need and move how I move. You know what I'm saying? I think that's, that's really cool. Like, you know, I'm sure like that experience like push you like want to like appreciate life more but yeah. outside of like what really motivates you like just to keep going? What motivated me to keep going is looking at myself in the mirror and knowing that those people that took something away from me, they didn't take it away. It made me stronger. It made me build up myself. It made me build up my confidence. It made me move smarter. It made me work harder. It made me stay out the way. It made me not want to be in the club scene. It made me not want to be around people, but it made me want to progress and turn my pain into something great so I can share with other people that even though you go through so much, you still can move forward. You still can change it. You can still take the path that you want to take the path that you want and you can still get whatever you want out of life because this is your life 
God, you can, you can make it however you want. Either I'm going to dwell in my pain and what happened to me in the past, or I'm going to grow from it and learn from it and make myself better and put myself in a better position so I can help others as well. And that's, all, that's it. Like you said, like you basically this situation happened behind somebody you trusted, basically your best yeah. friend. My best so friend how somebody I've been doing for eight years. Somebody I love and would have died for. You know what I'm saying? I rock I rock hard. But they just didn't rock out how hard I did and they didn't have the loyalty I did. It wasn't in them. It wasn't in them. And they folded. When it when it was when it's time to crunch time and it was under pressure, they folded. And they left me out to, they left me out. They left me for the wounds. They left me out there. How did that like mess up your trust and like with people, like in general? It fucked up my trust. I still don't trust people. I don't trust nobody. And it's the fact that you gotta show me that you gotta show me before you could tell me that. And that's that's how I put it. I got people that rock for me that I've been rocking for a long time that have would never do nothing, no shit like that. But I would never put it past them. Most definitely. That's all I gotta say. Just as far as get back to the positive shit, you know, I'd say, you know, I'm glad you made it out that situation and you still here, you know, doing your thing. Like, what do you plan on doing? Like, you say you got a cosmetology degree. Well, it's esthetician. Esthetician? Yeah. What but exactly it, is that? Esthetician is a skincare specialist. It's someone that works okay, with yeah, skin. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, cosmetology is more like nails, hair, and makeup. Mm -hmm. But the side I want is like the medical field. So, it's more of like the skin and helping it and also helping plastic surgeons and being assistance to that so yeah but yeah that's basically it when it's the teaching like like uh, facials and taking care of the skin and stuff like that and learning about different type of diseases and stuff that happens to the skin and what's going on with people's skin types that's basically it on that yeah. But with my music, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to shed a light on my city because there's a lot of artists that come from the city and they do. Okay, so on a positive note, me as an artist, I've been through a lot and I see my city and I see a lot of people that need help. And me having a platform like that, I want to be able to take people's hand and lift them up, not knock them down or, or push them and use them as a step, a step up. I'm trying to help people come up. I'm trying to help people move differently. I'm trying to shed a light life. It's, it's fucked up where I'm from. It's really fucked up. Like, I'm not even going to cap to you. Like, this shit, this shit, you know, each other greasy. But it's like, on a positive note, I want to shed light on that. I want to give people what they need. You know what I mean? If I'm in a position where I can help and I can give and I can create fundraisers and people people out here don't even have clothes or shoes to go to school or supplies and I want to be able to provide that. I want to help my city. I want to show them a different way than how it's taught and how it is because it's, it's really a mindset thing. And we all in this mindset that this is what we are, this is how we live, and this is where we need to be when that's not really it. Some people in Kansas City has never left the city, and people have died in the city. Born in the city, never left never and left. died here. And die here, and that's fucked up. It's sad because beyond these walls and beyond the city, it's other places, it's different countries, it's different culture, it's different foods, it's different beauty. And not even that, it's like systematically, like with the police and the government, that shit is fucked up too. Like all this shit is fucked up. Everything is fucked up. Like everything is so fucked up. And it's like, they they making it okay to be fucked up. Mm -hmm. They making it as a popularity game. Like, oh yeah, you hard to be fucked up. You hard to do this. You hard as fuck. But That's it's, a it's cool not, thing. Yeah, it's a cool thing to be gay. It's cool to be a killer. It's cool to be a nigga in the hood. It's cool to be a poor ass nigga. It's not cool. It's not cool. It's not cool to do none of that shit. What's cool is bettering yourself, changing yourself, and making yourself better than you were yesterday. And making, like, shit, I meditate. You I meditate, do yoga, that's dope. I drink tea, Ooh. I eat healthy, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm a spiritual person, I got crystals and everything, like. What drove you to that path? It's not even what drove me, it's what led me to that well, It's what exactly. showed me, it's, it was in it. front of my face. It was something that, learning about different things and learning about other things, it made me feel better. Knowing that our physical is just one part, but our spiritual is the second part, and that's very important to know about your spiritual. Mm. It's a spiritual warfare out here. I'm gonna ask you and this. I ain't even lying about that. Like, what are your thoughts on like sex? Like, as far as like transfer of energy during sex? Well, when you have sex, we all transfer energy and all that. 
And sometimes we transfer our energy to bad people and we also take in bad energy when we do have sex when we're not supposed to. And we keep that energy with us and it fucks with us throughout it. So I would say to stop doing that personally. Yes, and also if you want to stop that, to stop that dis spiritual disconnect from whatever you got going on and steaming and meditating and separating yourself from the shit you was doing because it's not good to have sex with a lot of people. It's not good to share your energy with everybody because not everybody deserves your energy and not everybody needs it. They just want it at that moment, at that time of lust and temptation. Mm -hmm. And that's what draws us to that. But we need to stay away from that. Because once you stay away, you stay from away, you stay away from it and separate yourself, the person that you need that's gonna give you that good spiritual connection and give you that good spiritual energy is gonna come to you. Automatically. Okay. Cause it's it's the law of attraction. Mm. You are what you attract. Yeah. I'm say just closing out here, just leap. Yeah, we doing an interview right now. Yeah. yeah. Just closing out here, like what's a piece of information you think you feel like um people should know in life? In life, never go backwards. Always go forward. Let people know where they can find you at on. Excuse me. Always, never go backwards, and always go forward. And that what you gonna say? That's a real deal. But no, let the people know where they can find you at on social media. Okay, you can find me at the real Dior Chanel. So that's D A. R E A L and then Dior Chanel. Or you can put Dior Chanel either one. So that's that's you can find me on Instagram. You can add me on Instagram. I do have a lot of stuff on there that has spirituality and stuff, especially about astrology and about your sign and stuff like that. So yeah. Okay. That's pretty much it. You'll be able to find my music in like two months. I'm dropping a music video. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm ready for everybody to hear it. I got a lot of stuff going on. Running a business is very hard, so also incorporating that with rap and music, it gets like everyday life. Yeah, it's just like everything. But all I can say is for upcoming rappers, always get your shit together and always get your shit first. The rap shit is always gonna be there and it's always gonna come. So while you working and you stacking up your bread and getting your getting your foundation together, always write music. Always keep it and always keep your ideas and write it down. Always keep everything written down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can always have it and make that move when you need to. When it's the right time, it's going to be the right time. You know?